All right, so we've had some warm days. There's nothing better than a little bit of uh, early spring warm. But uh, so we so t we tend to want to jump the gun, and I get that. Everybody's excited about spring. I mean, my gosh, haven't we been through enough? So plants start popping up in the garden center. First thing, of course, is pansies that you start to see. So. Uh, pansies are a cool weather crop, as, as we like to say. But the thing, first of all, that you have to remember, this is where we are. So, fro uh, there's freeze-free and frost-free, and people get those two dates confused. Freeze-free date is April 21st. Not exactly, that's the average, because obviously last couple of years, I think we've had a hard freeze in uh, May. And then frost-free is around May 8th, around Mother's Day, right? So, remember those two dates. So here we are in early March, so we're not even, close really to the freeze free date yet but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy some outdoor color so and just to give you an idea and 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 we you know we've been enjoying the warm temperatures and, and the weekend temperature so i took the old uh soil thermometer you know you have to have a nerd be a nerd to have a soil thermometer around because you only use it generally this time of year so i took this uh i think it was last thursday friday when i took this 36 degrees so while the air temperature we've been enjoying above, you know, average, the soil temperature is way too cold for like grass seed because grass seed is not going to germinate in, until it, there's, it's about uh, oh, 55, 60 degrees. Now it's okay to go ahead and put it down, but I'm just telling you when it says it's going to germinate in five to seven days, it ain't. That's not very good language, is it? So because it's got, the temperature's got to come up. So you have to decide whether you want to put it down. Well, the same thing with the air temperature and, and pansies, so cool weather. So that means that they can go out, but here's the thing. When we have a hard frost or even a, a light freeze, it does not kill the plant, but what it does, it burns the color off. And the reason we're putting them out, these beautiful plants, is because of the beautiful color. So here's the tip. Early on, like where we are now, you know, taking flats and putting them in the ground, probably not a good idea, but you can still enjoy the color by putting it in a pot. Uh, look, look at all these back here. So you have a little basket and you'll see bowls and stuff over here at all the garden centers. But you notice how we have these on carts because we bring them in at night. So when you see them out in, the, in a garden center, a box store outside, well, they may be bringing them in at night. So just keep that in mind. Same thing with trees and shrubs. So right here, dormant tree. You can plant that. If you can get a hole in the ground, which I think you can, you can put, we're starting to get nursery stock in. But remember this. So this is a hydrangea, okay? So a hydrangea we know is okay to plant in our landscape. It is hardy here. But our, our hydrangeas right now don't look like this. This has been what we call forced. And a lot of times for early spring color around Easter, we forced different plants, meaning that they put them in a greenhouse at the grower, or they came from a different part of the country. So that's the other thing. And garden centers and box stores, they don't do it on purpose, but when we order this stuff, we might be getting some stuff from Tennessee where their season's ahead, and you plant a tree that is already leafed out and then we get a freeze, then it's gonna die. So just kind of be careful. Whatever it looks like in our landscape, that's what you should be planting right now. Everything else you should protect, but certainly, Enjoy the early spring color.